So Jesse Bates is now on the Atlanta Falcons, and we're doing an Atlanta Falcons Jesse Bates rebuild, as you can tell by the title. It is currently March 13th at 10 at 28 p.m. So if anything happens to the Falcons or free agency as this happens, hate to break it to you. Don't care. I'm not going to delete my video. <laughs> I'm going to post it regardless. So also, there are certain contracts on this roster. If you guys are wondering how I got this updated roster, I make it myself on my Xbox Series X. I have a video on it. Go check out my channel and see my playlist, and you'll be able to see that I have a, a video on how to download these rosters on Xbox Series X through my gamer tag. But this is what we got going on with the team. We got Desmond Ritter, who's not actually an 80 overall. He just has a huge morale boost. And he's going to be our quarterback going forward because I don't think I'm going to really be able to find any better QB in the draft, especially with the pick that we got. Cordero Patterson, Tyler Algier, uh, Drake London, Zacchaeus. Uh, what's his first name? Oh, it looks like we're going to call him Zacchaeus because <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce that. And Jonu Smith as well is a signing on the Falcons. I don't know how I feel about this. Maybe it's just like backup and like a mentor for Kyle Pitts. But Kyle Pitts, I don't really think should be an X factor because he hasn't like, I know he has the talent to do it. But at the same time, yeah, <laughs> yes, he has an injury problem. But at the same time, like whenever someone gets injured so often, EA eventually just removes their X factor. Kind of like how they do with Barkley, but Barkley came back and became a beast. I don't know. Maybe they'll just give him superstar in the next Madden. Chris Lindstrom just got a fat contract, which is well-deserved for him. And also, I believe Lorenzo Carter got a two-year deal. And then Ellis, Kendon Ellis, I believe is, yeah, Caden Ellis from the Saints is who they signed as well. And for the rest of the defense, of course, Jesse Bates, AJ Terrell, Casey Hayward, Rashad Fenton, Richie Grant. The team, the team definitely has potential and getting Jesse Bates was a huge, huge signing. Let's see what we got for the NFC South here as we have Julio Jones retiring for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's fine. Looking into the players ready to negotiate though, we have Rashawn Evans, Lorenzo Carter is here. And yes, I can't give them contracts. Uh, I can't adjust their contracts in my Madden roster because that's just how EA is. So I'm giving Lorenzo Carter his two-year deal. I don't know. So for those guys saying, oh, Isaiah Oliver is a free agent, he hit the free agent market. It is yet to be determined because there is still a chance for the Falcons to resign them before free agency officially, officially opens um, just based on certain agencies. Caleb McGarry, I'm not going to give a contract to. Isaiah Oliver is a guy that I'm going to give a contract to because he is going to be good depth. I, again, if they hit free agency and go to a different team, sorry, can't do anything about it. Uh, Rashawn Evans just doesn't want to be here, so he can walk. I don't know if he got a contract in real life, but Madden, he doesn't want to play, so he can walk. Rashad Fenton, I think this will be good depth, especially with how cheap it is, and he resigns. I don't know if he's going to hit the open market. So again, if anything happens to these free agents, do not come from my head. Zacchaeus, I feel like this would not be bad depth either, but he's just really not a high overall. So I'm just going to pass on him if I'm being real. Everyone else here can walk. So apart from that, how much money do we have? We have $100 million to spend in free agency, but weirdly enough, I'm going to skip out on free agency because I don't want to sign someone in free agency and then someone be like, oh, this is bullshit. This guy got signed to this team in real life. And then I have some, like, I don't know what you call them, keyboard warriors in my comments saying how much of a retard I am for signing someone and active as if I'm God and I can predict the future. Anyways, enough of my rant. Let's just get to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up defensive end Miles Murphy out of Clemson. Hidden development, 87 strength, 6'5", 275. I wanted Tyree Wilson, but he was picked right before the pick that I had. So we're going to have to rock out with Miles Murphy, which I'm honestly fine with. So this is the team after the draft. I forgot they had Matt Hennessy here. Is he a center? No, he's a left guard. No, I could have sworn he was a center. But um, Cordero Patterson, I kind of want Tyler Algier starting over him because we're not going to use Cordero Patterson forever. Uh, while we have him, might as well use him. And it looks like, yeah, the CPU must have picked up Hutchinson here because I do not have many receivers outside of Kyle Pitts and Drake London. Hopefully those will suffice. And defensively, ooh, Miles Murphy's a 79 overall. Grady Jarrett, um, 305. Okay, I'm going to move Grady Jarrett inside to defensive tackle so that way we can fill out our defensive line a little bit better. Yes, I know Grady Jarrett mainly plays defensive end but at the same time i don't really care i want miles murphy starting because he is a 77 overall which is a great start to this new edge rush with lorenzo carter and arnold abikate i don't know how you pronounce that last name whatever anyways it's now time to move in to the midseason mark at the midseason mark we are three and four third in division uh the defense is what's selling us right now but the defense obviously isn't amazing 
Our passing game is fine. We're just allowing too many points. Our offense is performing decently well. Scouting national focus, I do think we need to go receiver in this draft. Having only Drake London is kind of, it's kind of not really a good thing. So definitely need to scout receiver here and players ready to negotiate who we're going to have. We have Chris Lindstrom, who got a massive contract in real life. I don't remember the details, but he doesn't want to play. So I'm going to give him very player friendly and he resigns. Is that realistic enough for you? AJ Terrell, I'm going to increase the bonus by a mass ton and increase the salary a little bit. And he resigns. Cordell Patterson can walk. Casey Hayward. Now, this is a cheap one year deal. I'll do that for one more year. And uh, Jonu Smith, honestly... I don't know how many years they signed him in real life. I really don't want him. He doesn't even want to be here. Will he just take this? Like, this that's the best deal I'm going to offer him. He can walk if he doesn't want to be here. Malik Walker can walk. Matt Hennessy, I kind of do want to pursue him. But we're going to have to see. But I can't really pursue him right now because I have to wait until week 9. And it's week 8. But apart from that, let's move in to the playoffs. Here we are going 6 and 11. <laughs> I'm going back to my original schemes and my schemes... Our Dallas offense, Kansas City defense is what I always do. And I don't know what's wrong, bro. Just the team, team doesn't like it. My previous rebuilds have not been good. I'm not going to lie, just because just the EA was like, nah, to me almost every time. But anyways, let's see what we got here for these stats and awards. Offensively, Desmond Ritter, mid 18th best offense in the NFL and uh, 19th best defense. Yeah, 16 receptions is too many. 4,600 yards, though. 31 touchdowns is not bad. Just 92 pass rating isn't crazy. Rushing yards, Cordero Patterson, 4.3 per carry, 7 touchdowns, and 1,100 yards. Decent season. Receiving wise, Drake London, 107 receptions, 1,300 yards, 6 touchdowns. That's maybe superstar. Kyle Pitts, 11 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Defensively, Malik Walker, 138 tackles. That was for a loss. 20 for Arnold Ubikate, I believe is how you pronounce it. Sacks, 10 for Grady Jarrett, 8 for Lorenzo Carter. And it looks like Miles Murphy didn't really get to be a rusher. And three interceptions from Lake Walker. Safety zone team is one for Grady Jarrett. Defensive touchdowns is one for AJ Terrell. So it's now time to move in to the offseason. I've said it 10 million times before, and I'll say it again. Nerf the Cowboys. Dak Prescott is not going to be a Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> As I'm not trying to hate on the Cowboys that much. Just It's specifically Dak Prescott. Why is he an X factor? He's, he's not a top 10 QB. Okay, Jalen Hurts wins the league MVP. There are no awards here for the Atlanta Falcons, unfortunately. No defensive rookie of the year for Miles Murphy. He didn't get enough in. He didn't get enough time in. Offensively, though, we have no upgrades, unfortunate. Defensively, Grady Jarrett gets superstar. Miles Murphy has star dev. Malik Walker has started, but I'm not even going to resign him because he's already 27. So let's move into the resignings. In the NFC South, Tyrod Taylor, my mentor for Desmond Ritter, retires. I'm not even going to bother trying to sign mentors anymore. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we got here as uh, Malik Walker. No, 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 no. Matt Hennessy is a guy that I want. This, uh, this is pretty cheap. I'm cool with that long term. And he still wants to hit free agency. How much does it take? I'm not paying you $16 million. Jalen Hawkins can walk. He's too old. Everyone else here just don't care about. We have a lot of money to spend, though, in free agency. So let's move into it. After free agency, I got Mike Anonwu, I believe is how you pronounce it, Ed Oliver to eventually replace David Onyemata, who was the temporary fix for the Falcons, and Patrick Queen. So a lot of huge improvements to the defense and one to the offensive line. So let's move in to the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up our next Julio Jones, 6'4", 227, 89 speed, 89 acceleration, hidden development, Bobby Smiley, A catch in traffic, B medium route, B catching, A spec catch, B short route. He looks great. In the third round, I'm picking up center Aaron at Canada out of Michigan. Hidden Dev, 6'3", 3'12", and 84 strength. So this is the team after the draft. Bobby Smiley is a 75 overall candidate. I'm going to start over Drew Dahlman. And Schmitz is a 75. Jalen Mayfield, he's a left guard. I'm going to take him and move him to right tackle. I know that's this completely opposite position, but I do not care. <laughs> I need someone at right tackle rather than a 63 overall candidate. Mayfield, uh, Bob Smiley. Sure, Hutchinson will be a slot for us defensively. I want Grady Jarrett rushing off the edge. Lorenzo Carter got all this. Pat Queen. Yeah, I'm cool with all this. Maybe you need some more help at outside linebacker. Casey Hayward's probably going to have to walk after this season. Might need another DB. And I'm going to put Miles Murphy over Lorenzo Carter for rushing off the edge. And yeah, everything looks pretty good to me. Going to have Hutchinson there. And ooh. 
how long does David on Yamada have left on his contract? I'm pretty sure it was only like a one year in real life. Uh, it's only one more year here. That's fine. He can just stay for another year. That's fine with me. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are three and three, second in the division. Um, we're mediocre. That didn't really lead to many places in the previous season. So I don't know what we're going to do. But for right now, I'm going to change it to middle linebacker for the scouting national focus. <coughs> My bad. And um, yeah, I'm going to get some outside linebackers, specifically pass coverage outside linebackers. We're going to see what we got here for the players ready to negotiate. Kyle Pitts must have back. He resigns. And then there was a long-term extension on Jesse Bates. I don't know how much it was, but he doesn't want to be here. So I'm going to pay him big. Kind of like how he got paid huge in real life. Richie Grant doesn't want to be here either. Uh, I don't care. You're staying, and this is a pretty cheap contract, relatively. He resigns. Uh, Casey Hayward can walk. Lorenzo Carter. I gave him his two years. I already have Miles Murphy, and I'm looking to replace him for a coverage linebacker, so he can walk. Drew Dolman. I already have his replacement. David Onyemata can walk. Jalen Mayfield can walk. And everyone else here can just walk. Don't really have an interest in them. So anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move in, if I can actually click it, to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 11-6, top the division. Here we face the 11-6 Minnesota Vikings as we get home field advantage. But let's see what we got. Desmond Ritter did actually pretty good this season. Very good, actually. 10th best offense in the NFL, 19th best defense. Doesn't really make sense. 4,800 yards, 32 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 106 pass rating too. Rushing-wise, Tyler Algier, 12 touchdowns, 4.4 per carry, and 1,200 yards. Receiving-wise, Kyle Pitts, 109 receptions, 1,200 yards. Drake London, 1,100 yards. And our slot receiver, Xavier Hutchinson, 1,000 yards. Bobby Smiley with a good rookie year. Defensively, Patrick Queen, 121 tackles. Tackles for a loss is 18 for Ed Oliver. Sacks, 10.5 for Miles Murphy, 9 for Grady Jarrett. Interceptions, 4 for Patrick Queen, and 4 for Rashad Fenton. Safeties is 0. Defensive touchdowns is 0. So, let's see what we got here against the 11-6 Minnesota Vikings. Can Desmond Ritter get his first ever playoff win as a Falcon? And he does. You're going to face the 11-6 Green Bay Packers who have Jordan Love on their team because I officially traded Aaron Rodgers to the Jets on mine. Jordan Love smokes us. 38-3. Let's move in to the offseason. Once again, Cowboys and Titans Super Bowl and Dak Prescott wins the Super Bowl MVP and the league MVP. Great. <laughs> Great, guys. Um, everyone else here, no uh, awards here for the Atlanta Falcons. So let's see what we got here. For the roster upgrades offensively, maybe Desmond Ritter. He does not get one. Smiley only has star dev. Candidate only has star dev as well. That's fine with me. Defensively, we've got Patrick Queen getting superstar. Grady Jarrett gets X-Factor. Why? <laughs> Miles Murphy had more sacks than him. But okay, sure. We'll, we'll give him the X-Factor. Why not? Let's move into the re-signings. In the NFC South, Demario Davis, Cam Jordan, and Casey Hayward all retire. That is good for us. But let's see what we got for the players ready to negotiate as we have offensively, Lorenzo, well, not offensively, in terms of re-signings, Lorenzo Carter, Drew Dolman, Onyemata, Jalen Mayfield, everyone here, I already said I didn't want them, so they can all walk, and we have quite a bit of money to spend in free agency, so let's move into it. So I got some good replacements, JOK to replace Lorenzo Carter as a coverage linebacker and Eric Stokes for a basically long-term... I don't know, a long-term replacement for Casey Hayward is what you would say because he is younger and he will be able to progress instead of regress. So let's move into the draft. In the first round, I'm picking up right guard Javier Hargrove out of USF. Unfortunately, only normal dev, 87 strength. Uh, I'm going to move to my right tackle position. So this is the team after the draft. Hargrove is a 73 overall, which is not even bad. It's just unfortunate that he didn't get a dev trait. Our receiving core is looking decent. And I want to move Lawson over to left outside linebacker. I picked this guy in the second round. He was an elite athlete at almost everything except strength. I think he just had only good strength, which isn't even a bad thing. But he was elite in everything else, not just only had normal dev, which was really upsetting. But the team looks great, honestly. I have a lot of depth here at DB, especially. Great defensive line. We're really set. Just It's up to Desmond Ritter to perform and maybe the defense because they were 19th in the previous season. So let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark because we are 4-2, and two, second in the division, highly contested division. Panthers, dude, the Panthers are right on our ass for it and Buccaneers are dominating. I assume they have Anthony Richardson. Players, uh, scouting national focus, man. I guess another wide receiver because we really don't need anything else that he just needs to develop by itself. I'm not going to draft a new offensive lineman. If I found a new right tackle in free agency, then I'll get him, but not going to do anything about that. 
Grady Jarrett is an X Factor. There's no reason not to resign him. Here's a two year deal. He resigns. Drake London, no reason not to resign our first round pick. We have a bunch of money. Wants more money. So I guess I'll have to give it to him. Tyler Algier, I'm just going to give him player friendly and he wants even more money. I guess I'll have to give it to him too. Desmond Ritter, he's the future quarterback. Um, he doesn't want state income tax and he wants a mentor. So I guess uh, signing a mentor always ends up bad for me. But I'm, I guess I'm just going to have to... No, they're just going to retire by the time I... Damn, dude. This puts me in a tough spot. Okay. Um, Arnold Obikate. We're going to move him up to player friendly. We're just going to do that. He resigns. And then... Yeah, I'm just going to have to wait on these guys. I'm going to wait on Desmond Ritter as well. Troy Anderson. Everyone else here can walk. Chosen Rosen, dude. What garbage. Anyways, let's move on to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs going 10 and 7, second division, coming off a win to the Panthers as we have to face Tampa Bay at home. Stats and awards. I'm assuming they have Anthony Richardson at quarterback. Desmond Ritter is balling out. Is that MVP? Probably not. It's two on the Saints, dude. <laughs> Piss off. Jalen Hurts on the Giants now. Desmond Ritter is not even top 10. Okay. Hendon Hooker is apparently the Buccaneers quarterback, by the way. Fifth best offense in the NFL and the eighth best defense. 5,200 yards, 34 touchdowns, 14 receptions, too many. That's why rushing Tyler Algeo, 21 touchdowns, but only 3.8 per carry. Receiving wise, Xavier Hutchinson is balling. 1,300 yards, 11 touchdowns. Bobby Smiley, 12 touchdowns, 1,200 yards. Kyle Pitts, 100 receptions, 1,100 yards. Drake London, 1,000 yards, 3 touchdowns. Defensively, Patrick Queen, 120 tackles, tackles for a loss. 13 for Grady Jarrett, sacks. 9 for Arnold Obikate. Grady Jarrett, six and a half sacks, one interception for JOK, really only four interceptions total in the entire season, zero safeties and zero defensive touchdowns, four total interceptions and our defense ranked what? What was it? Really eight? That's crazy. Didn't even get double digit sacks with one player, but let's see if we can beat Hendon Hooker in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Our division rivals, we do. 28 to 16, here to face the 9-8 Seattle Seahawks, move on to our first conference championship if we can do it. We do not. 31 to 14. Let's move into the fourth and final season. Titans lose their third Super Bowl in a row in this simulation. Why are the Titans balling out in simulation, by the way? They, they had like no free agents. They had to have gotten some God tier quarterback. Panthers, Anthony Richardson is on the Panthers. He wins the Super Bowl MVP. 2 0 with the Saints wins the league MVP. There are no Falcons awards here. I want to see who the Titans quarterback is. He has to be some God. There's no way. Did they somehow snag Bryce Young? I'm so confused on why they're so good. CJ, they somehow snagged CJ Stroud. He somehow fell extremely far in the draft. All right, then. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what we got for the roster upgrades. Maybe Desmond Ritter? No. Okay, unfortunate. Okay, Hutchinson, I'm giving... Dude, he had this baller season. Doesn't even get start of. Look at this. 1,300 yards, 93 receptions, and 11 touchdowns. You're going to be like, eh, no, the best we can do is normal dev. No, <laughs> he's getting star dev, whether you like it or not. I'm going to force that on him if it will actually load at any point in the year. Star dev. I really want to give Desmond Ritter superstar because he really is doing good. Let me see the season. Let me see the season he just had. 5,200. Pass rating is decent. 5,200. If he just cleaned up his interception problem, I would easily give him superstar dev. O-line's looking good. It's defensively, though. What do we got? Grady Jarrett's regressing, which doesn't make sense because he's been doing amazing for us. And no upgrades. Okay, unfortunate. But anyways, guys, apart from that, it is now time to move into the resign players. In the NFC South, Jake Matthews and Jimmy Ward both retired. Jimmy Ward just signed recently with the Texans, and he just retired. Okay. Uh, players ready to negotiate. We have uh, big players here. We had very player friendly for Drake London. He didn't want it, so I have to increase his bonus. He resigns. We have a bunch of money to pass out, by the way. Taylor Algier, I'm gonna have to give him very player friendly, which I'm fine with. It's not even hugely expensive. Desmond Ritter, I'm gonna have to give him very player friendly too. That's pretty expensive. And he doesn't want to play for us. 51 million? That's crazy. Do I seriously have to tag him? I'm not tagging him for 51 million. I'm gonna see if I can scoop him in free agency. Let's go get him. After free agency, I got Taylor Moten, and I really, really, like, badly overpaid for Desmond Ritter because he was the best quarterback available, and I'm not going into my final season without a QB, so let's get into the draft. 
In the first round, I'm picking up a middle linebacker, Garrison Posey, out of UCF. Hidden development, 86 speed, 90 acceleration. He's got good skills. He's going to play left outside linebacker for us. Now this is the team going into the fourth and final season. Desmond Ritter only got up to an 81 overall, which is unfortunate. But the rest of our team does look pretty solid, I would say. It's nothing crazy. I'm actually going to keep Posey and second string middle linebacker because we don't have huge depth there. Defense looks great. It's all up to the team to perform. I also just noticed Eric Stokes got starred Ev. But let's move in to the playoffs for the fourth and final season. Here we are in the playoffs going 16-1, and top of the division. Crazy. Let's see the stats and awards here. Offensively, we have Desmond Ritter balling out. Is that MVP? I don't think so, but he is sixth. Okay, sixth for MVP. Six offense in the NFL as well. Let's not get another six, please. And best defense in the NFL. We have 5,100 yards at 39 touchdowns. If he had like... Maybe four, no, not four, that's unrealistic. More like seven interceptions, he would be more up there for MVP. 111 pass rating is great. Tyler Algier, 15 touchdowns, 4.0 per carry, 1,100 yards, good season. Kyle Pitts, 121 receptions, 1,300 yards, great. Xavier with 1,100 yards, 11 touchdowns. Drake London with 1,000 yards and 11 touchdowns. Bob, Bobby Smiley is just up and down. Defensively, JOK, 104 tackles, tackles for a loss, 14 for Ed Oliver, sacks, 12 and a half for Miles Murphy, 12 for Arnold Ibikate. I'm, I'm always going to be pissed off when I'm trying to pronounce this. And Ed Oliver, 10 and a half sacks, interceptions, five for Jesse Bates as he's finally flourishing on our defense. One safety for Ed Oliver and defensive touchdowns is zero. So let's see who we're going to be facing in the divisional round. I am going to hop into the game because we haven't won a divisional round game yet. If we have, I would have just skipped it. But we haven't. Here to face the 10 and 7 Washington Commanders. Not going to waste any time. Will Levis is their quarterback. Let's move into it. Here we are against the Washington Commanders in Atlanta. 7-0 start for us as it was almost two digits. Okay, there it is. Two-score lead and 3-14, to so two-score lead, three-score lead. Let's not make it 28-3. to That would be not fun for Falcons fans. The comeback, more like the choke. Falcons, what are you doing? 21-31 now. Okay, we don't choke. Good stuff. It was 21-21. That scared me for a second. I was like, no way. We better choke. 6-21 lead. 21-34. Let's move on to the divisional round. And in the conference championship, here to face Anthony Richardson and the Carolina Panthers, who are 11-6, and, and the division rivals to move on to the Super Bowl. Here we are in Atlanta, here to face the Carolina Panthers. 7-0 start for us. 7-7 now. Anthony Richardson is crazy in simulation. Here's a key to dominate simulation. You just draft any type of new CPU QB that's not already in the game because there's certain QBs who are scripted to be good and certain QBs who are scripted to be bad because EA is just great with scripting. But 24 to 31, 31 to 31 overtime. We're going to have to see the key moments here and defense needs to keep them out of the end zone. Okay, overtime alert. I'm going to hop into this. I'm not going to I'm not going to take a risk on this. I'm going to hop in and play. Ooh, Drake London beat him. Drake London. Yes, sir. Drake London. Touchdown. And that is going to be the game as we're going to be moving on to the Super Bowl. Let's go. This is now a successful rebuild as we are here to face the 15-2 Kansas City Chiefs versus the 16-1 Atlanta Falcons. Desmond Ritter finally gets superstar dev. Am I missing my left tackle? Oh, yeah. Jake Matthews retired. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. And for our defense, Eric Stokes gets superstar. So I guess that was a good investment. And Jesse Bates does get superstar X factor. So anyways, let's see what we got here against the 15-2 Kansas City Chiefs. Here we are in Miami for the Super Bowl. And it is, okay, 7-0 star. I was like, confused on why we didn't score on that first drive. 0-7. And somehow the Chiefs didn't score. Now they do score 7-7. And, okay, 14-7 at halftime. Let's actually get in the end zone. There we go. 14-14. Let's do it again. 14 to, 14, 14 to 21. Oh, this is getting down to it. 14 to 28, and I think we might have it on lock. Just run the ball. Please, just run the What are you doing? Game is on the line, and they don't get it. Desmond Ritter finishes off Patrick Mahomes, and we have a successful rebuild with your Atlanta Falcons. And Desmond Ritter, 362 yards, two touchdowns. Let's see who your Super Bowl MVP is. Probably going to be Desmond Ritter. It would be cool if it was Jesse Bates for the Jesse Bates rebuild. But let's see what we have here, and uh, let's back out, please. Go to this final staff week and see what we got for the fourth and final season, as this is a successful rebuild. And JOK wins the Super Bowl MVP. Patrick Mahomes wins the league MVP. Our coach wins the coach of the year. And apart from that, guys, I thank you guys all for watching. Let me know which free agency rebuild you want me to do next. And apart from that, guys, once again, I thank you guys all for watching, and... 
check out my links down in the description below. Make sure you like the video if you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.